Yo, what's going on, Black Comic Lords family? So I have my question for you guys. We're in this new era of independent comic books, getting some attention, live action adaptations of superhero films, etc. Question for you guys is this. What is the number one thing independent comic books need to be successful? Yeah, so let me tell you, you know, in, in looking at your comics, one of the first things that really sort of strikes me, because, you know, here at Black Comic Lords, we see a lot of comics. Yeah. exposed to a lot of comics we're even asked by a lot of creators to, to sort of review their comics but what stands apart for, for for me when i look at concrete comics is the art you guys are so on point with your art like uh, there are a lot of independent creators will have really dope writing but sometimes they'll have really lacking in the art area and for the yeah. comics medium you have to have that balance between the, the writing and the art. Listen, Capital, put your own money up. Ripper did it. You put up a substantial amount, but you gotta put up your own money. A lot of people just like to spam their Kickstarter and they think that everybody just, theirs is gonna stand out amongst the ocean wide of, of freaking Kickstarters. Put your money up, build relationships outside of your work, and uh, consistency, man. You know, don't just put out one issue, two, three, four, five. This is, this is an expensive, uh, endeavor, but you gotta, that's the only way you're gonna be able to do it. But don't spam us with your work if your stuff ain't right. This don't spam at all, but really don't spam if your stuff ain't right. And get people that really buy and collect comic books to look at your work and get people that's gonna be honest with you versus just your homeboy who like, oh yeah, that's fine. He don't even collect comic books. That's the biggest thing, man. Stories gotta be good. You gotta have capital and build relationships with people, man. So people would want to actually support you. That's how it's done, Doc. And then I mentioned the art gotta be A1. Yeah, the art's gotta be A1. Here's some examples. Now, this is concrete artwork mixed in with Marvel artwork for this first one. The second one is DC artwork mixed in with concrete artwork. And you can barely tell the difference. This is what I'm talking about, making sure your art is A1. If you're trying to really, really grow this thing, if you just want to put out some subpar stuff, you don't get some subpar response and subpar uh, support. That's just what it is. 